lock. It's a uh, dart and sleeved. Right now I just finished up filing my second set of rings. Um, yeah, she's a 427 with a four inch crank, which I'm reusing my Kelly's crank. Had it internally balanced. Uh, the last person I had machined this crank for the 408, um, I asked for it to be internally balanced, but he, I guess he didn't have the tool to take the reluctor wheel off. Um, he actually balanced it to the flywheel, which I was a little upset on, you know, because I, you know, you go through clutches when you, you know, driving the shit out of them. Um, you know, you might burn up a flywheel, and then you, uh, you know, you take some material off the flywheel to remachine it, and then, you know, next thing you know, it's, you know, you took too much, and then you gotta balance the new flywheel to the old flywheel, and, you know, you it could run into all kinds of problems, but... I just wanted it internally balanced. Um, I felt that that was uh, the best way to go. Better look at the block. Um, you know, got our darting sleeves down in there. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. So let me see. You can see the five seven right there. Uh, I believe this was like an O one um, LS one. So yep. Had the block done. I cleaned it up nice and on the inside here you know had them do a line bore uh, new cam bearings now I got some ARP studs for the main caps and the main caps are right inside here these are billet main caps from program you know so they are made to fit um, so yeah I want this bottom end to be really nice and strong so I'm just going a little extra lengths to do that on to the next thing I got my pistons um, got a deal on these rods these are Howard rods they're a traditional I-beam versus an H-beam uh, maybe not so traditional as I mean they're a little thin but you know a lot bigger than H-beams you know, when you compare them to an old school small block beefy rod, I mean, even a stock, you know, big block rod just makes this thing look like a toy. But, um, you know, they're pretty strong. They're all forged. For the pistons, I got some, uh, I got some diamond, you know, disc pistons, uh, 4.125 inch bore. And uh, I just finished up filing my ring set. I got my file up here on the bench. And uh, still have the rings in the bores, as you can see them in there and up top. So there she be. Bearings are all set up. Um, the only thing left now is to get a cam and I guess assemble it. Here are the cleavite coated main bearings. Um, yep, I have those on the rods and the mains. So, you know, I'm gonna go with that just to keep it nice and safe in the long run. Now they're a little pricey, but they'll save you in machine work in the long run. Um, and they're just, you know, they got tons of protection and they're slick as shit. You'll pick up a little bit of power just running these bearings. Right here I have some PRC aftermarket casting LS3 cylinder heads. They are 260 cc's or it's 265 I forget. Um, you know come with a little billet rocker arm rail. I probably won't be using them but I'm not sure. I have a set of yellow Terras that don't use the stock uh, rocker pedestals so I might not end up doing that. Um, Open this thing up here. There we go. Uh, these, I believe, are the larger chambers on this. I think you can get them anywhere from 68 to 60 cc's. A um, little look inside the cylinder head. You know, nice, nice uh, port job. Um, on the intakes, of course, they always run into the rocker 
uh, bolt channel. That's why you have this hole here. So, you know, you want to make sure you deburr that so you don't have any pieces of metal, you know, falling into your engine and uh, scratching up your pistons. Um, they probably wouldn't do much other than that, but, uh, you know, it's not really that necessary. Um, stainless valves, 2.16 valves. Um, you know, these I think have like a 13 degree intake valve angle. And came with double springs and all that, just like my old set. So, um, can't wait to run them, you know. Nice intake port. Nice exhaust port. Really, really, really thick deck. The reason I got these is uh, I'm turbo in this one. So, um, these have a nice thick deck, so the head will not want to warp as much as it may, as a, like a factory setup would. Um, so, yep, nice casting.